There is perhaps no more polarizing issue in health care reform debate than abortion. Tonight, Chief Washington Correspondent Jim Engel concludes his series, Health Care Countdown, debating the differences by examining the House and Senate positions on this politically charged topic. Those on both sides of the abortion issue have strongly held beliefs that are difficult to compromise, complicating the effort to marry the House and Senate bills, which are distinctly different. There's either federal funding for abortion or there isn't. There really isn't a middle ground on the issue. In the House, Speaker Nancy Pelosi was only able to pass a health care bill after allowing a vote on tough language, sponsored by Michigan Democrat Bart Stupak, prohibiting any taxpayer dollars from funding abortion. A supporter describes it this way. It prohibits abortion funds not only within the public programs but for any insurer who wants to participate in the public program. Allowing a vote on that, the only amendment Ms. Pelosi allowed won her 40 Democratic votes she would have otherwise lost. Even with them, she only won by five votes, leaving little room for compromise. And pro-life forces are not happy with the Senate bill, which has looser restrictions. It would create exchanges to offer insurance plans state by state. At least one plan would have to offer abortion unless the states opt out, which isn't easy. Each state, if they want out of the abortion mandates that are in the Senate plan, would have to pass their own laws to get out of funding abortion. So will House members who voted for the Stupac Amendment accept anything less? The exclusion has to remain in place that no federal taxpayer dollars can be used directly or indirectly to fund abortions. But pro-choice forces are also angry, so can the House and Senate find some middle ground that won't lose votes from one group or the other? House Democrats who voted for Stupac concede the Senate won't accept his language, which it voted down already. It goes 45 to 54. We know what can be done and what cannot be done in the uh, Senate. Analysts say some of the Stupac Democrats would consider other language, depending on the rest of the bill. Not all of them are going to be Stupac or bust. A lot of the folks are, they wanted to see, make sure that there wasn't an expansion of abortion coverage, and they'd certainly be willing to take a compromise. Pro-life forces say the two bills are light years apart, and analysts say Stupak himself thinks a handful of Democrats will not compromise. I think he's got somewhere between 10 and 15 votes that will not support health care reform if it has the Senate language. That's critical since the House bill only passed by five votes to begin with. If Pelosi loses more than three, the final health care bill would not pass. Brett, we will follow it every step of the